Today we'll be analyzing the content marketing and SEO strategies of Buffer. Buffer is a software as a service startup that's earned over 1 million unique visitors per month, over 900,000 in monthly recurring revenue, and earned backlinks from sites like The Wall Street Journal, The Guardian, and BBC. We're gonna look at exactly what they did right, what they did wrong, how they could improve their existing efforts, and most importantly, how you can leverage those same tactics and learnings and apply them to growing your business. I'm Mike. And I'm Alex. And before we dive in to Buffer's on-page, off-page, and content strategies, let's learn a little bit more about their business. Buffer is a marketing technology company that provides software that helps social marketers to share their content more effectively on social media. The first thing we like to look at when analyzing a potential new client or onboarding a client is a site called SimilarWeb. Obviously, we'd prefer to have the Google Analytics, but in this case, SimilarWeb is used just to get an idea directionally of the traffic and the magnitude of the traffic. Now, in this particular instance, it's telling us that Buffer is getting 8.8 .8 million uh, visitors a month. We actually know that it's closer to a million because Buffer is one of the very rare companies that shares that kind of data. Another tool that we use for similar analysis is SEMrush. It's SEMrush.com. Uh, and as you can see over here, uh, their organic traffic is trending slightly up and to the right over the past year. SEMrush is telling us they're getting about 90,000 clicks from organic traffic. We happen to know again because of their transparency that they're actually getting about 300,000. We're not worried exactly what this number is. We're just worried how is it moving directionally and how does it compare to potential competitors. The next thing we like to look at when analyzing a company is their domain authority. Domain authority is a score provided by Moz.com to indicate how high quality Google likely perceives their site. The higher the domain authority, the higher they can rank for high volume, high competition search terms. In this case, Buffer has a domain authority of 82. That is actually extremely high, some of the highest traffic High, highly respected sites on the web like Inc. and the Next Web have domain authorities around uh, 90. It takes months and months just to get into the 30s. Buffer has been able to get into the 80s. This is uh, an incredible opportunity for them to acquire traffic and customers. Along similar lines, we use a tool called Ahrefs, ahrefs.com, to look at domain rating. And this is the same idea, getting an idea of how high quality the site is. Uh, and in this case, Buffer's domain rating is a 70. Again, very high, very impressive. It gives them a lot of opportunity to generate visitors and revenue. So now that we got an idea of the traffic and the competitiveness, the domain authority and the domain rating, we're coming back to SEMrush. Uh, in this case, we logged into our paid version, but uh, the free version has a lot of data too. And what we want to do is we just want to look at the keywords that Buffer is currently rating, ranking for, and see if we can understand why. You know, how is their content? Is it high quality? What length is it? Who are they competing against? Uh, so let's just pick a keyword out of random. Uh, how about how to read books? So let's take that search phrase, how to read books, and plug it into Google. As you can see, Buffer is ranking number one behind this embedded search results for the term. So what is ranking and why are they ranking for it? Well, the first few factors to look for are the title, uh, the meta description, and the link. As we can see in the title, they don't have how to read books in the title at all. Uh, they don't have how to read books in the meta description, as shown here, uh, but they do have how to read in the URL itself. So let's take a look at what exactly is going on here. As we can see here, they've written a blog post on the best kept secrets to reading, remembering, and retaining books that you read. So while the post itself doesn't directly target the keyword, they do have such a high domain rating uh, that they're able to rank for this term. And they are also using relevant terms uh, throughout the content. You know, why would Google want to present this blog post to searchers as opposed to the millions of others that are on the web? Uh, well, at first glance, we can see this is an extremely well-designed page. Uh, it's a really great user experience. Uh, next, we can see they have some really thorough and comprehensive content. Uh, they're including uh, images, they have subtitles to divide it up, uh, and this is actually a really, really long uh, blog post covering a variety of different topics that pertain to reading books. So, in short, if you're interested in how to read more books, this blog post is likely going to be of extreme value to you. So that is a big part of the reason why uh, Google is ranking this. 
And one thing to add here, we may not be able to see it from looking at the page, but considering how long this is and just knowing how high quality the content that Buffer produces is, it's probably getting a really high click-through rate from the search term on Google, and people are probably spending a really long time on this page and clicking through to others. Thus, low, if I had to guess, low bounce rate, high engagement, high dwell time, and all the indicators that Google likes to see. So a couple key takeaways here are create a really valuable piece of content that's relevant to your target audience and increase the domain rating of your site through building backlinks, which we'll get into later. So we're back at ahrefs.com to analyze Buffer's backlinks. Backlinks are one of the most critical ranking factors if you want to get traffic from Google. So we plug the domain into ahrefs, go over to the left sidebar here and click on referring domains. Here we'll be able to see a list of all the sites that are linking to Buffer.com, any page on the Buffer website. A couple key things to keep in mind here. Uh, the first is domain rating. The higher the domain rating, the more it's going to affect how your site ranks. So the higher the better. Uh, and is the, is the link do follow or no follow? And we want do follow links that Google does read. So diving in to the sites that are linking to Buffer, they have an incredibly impressive barrage of high quality sites that are linking to them. I wanted to call out one in particular uh, from the Wall Street Journal, obviously a highly reputable, um, high domain uh, rating site, a site of an 80. And here is a blog post that is linking to buffer.com. So we went ahead and pulled it up and we can see here, it's a blog post about getting your message to the mainstream. So it's a blog post about marketing. Uh, and if we scroll down towards the bottom here, the author references Buffer as an example of getting their message to the masses and doing marketing really well. So by Buffer consistently producing high quality content, they've established themselves as experts in the field uh, and they're earning uh, respect and acknowledgement for it by publications like the Wall Street Journal. And it also looks like just from the work, the digging that we've done, they had a nice PR effort. Um, we don't know if they hired an agency or not, but they've definitely been written up in a PR capacity. Uh, but it's mostly from just being so well known from producing so much content and having such a good name out there that people just naturally link back to them, which is the dream come true. So now that we've taken a look at their content strategy and their backlink strategy, it's time to just talk for a second about the technical uh, stack of the website because this does impact a site's ability to rank. Uh, we're on a free website called Built With and we just popped in Buffer. I've already gone ahead and pulled it up. And here I'm just looking to see, uh, was the site built on WordPress? Was it built on Squarespace, Magento, anything else? Um, you don't need to know what every one of these things are. In this case, it's pretty clear though that it's a custom built site, which could have an impact on our site speed in a bad way. So let's move on to page speed. So check out page speed, head over to Google's page speed insights tool do a quick search on Google and you'll find it. Type in the URL and click analyze. And we can see here that their score is only a 58 out of 100 on mobile. And on desktop, they're a 75 out of 100. And the tool provides us with some quick fixes that they can do to speed up their site. And then the very last test that we want to run today is the mobile friendly test. Uh, just Google mobile friendly test and uh, you simply enter the site. And in this case, it passed. If you don't pass the mobile friendly test, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, because Google is slowly beginning to provide a different uh, set of search results on your mobile phone as compared to your desktop. Now that we've taken a look at their strategies, tactics, and what they've been doing from an SEO and a content marketing perspective, let's actually put some numbers to it and see where they're performing strongest and what could they do to improve. In terms of content, Buffer has some of the best in the industry. They have a high volume of really high value content that's relevant to their target market. I have to give them a five out of five. In terms of on-page uh, search engine optimization, Buffer's doing an okay job, but they're not doing a perfect job. While they have a really high domain authority and are ranking for many terms, when looking across their articles, the majority of their articles aren't targeting any keyword in particular. And you can see that by looking at the meta tags, uh, the header, the title, and everything in between. So we're gonna give Buffer a three out of five for on-page SEO. In terms of off-page SEO, Buffer has a large volume of extremely high quality backlinks. Sites like Wall Street Journal, CNBC, The Guardian, and the BBC. I have to give them a five out of five. In terms of technical SEO, uh, again, Buffer is doing a good job, but not a perfect job. 
Uh, for some reason, they decided to custom build their site, which can have great benefits, uh, but often is a little risky from a site performance perspective as compared to using WordPress, which is typically out of the box, uh, technically optimized. Uh, so for those reasons, uh, we're gonna give a Buffer a four out of five. To wrap it all up, they're doing an outstanding job with backlink building. They have an extremely high domain authority. Their content is some of the best on the internet. Meanwhile, their on-page SEO is a little less than perfect and their technical SEO is less than perfect. But given the strength of their content and their backlink building, we're gonna give them a five out of five. So what would we do if we were Buffer's marketing team and we wanted to get even better results for the company? One thing I'd start with is doing keyword research to determine what their customers are actively searching for each month. From there, I'd look to find high volume terms that Buffer can outperform the competition on. Then it just takes creating the killer content that they're already creating and on-page on optimizing to make sure they rank for it. And to further complement a more targeted content creation strategy, uh, we'd also recommend a deeper technical dive to really understand why are they getting the slow page speeds that they are. Well, it only may be a second or two delay uh, that will hurt your rankings on Google. And worst of all, uh, it makes for a less than ideal uh, consumer or customer experience. Thanks for checking out our SEO teardown of Buffer. Please let us know what you think. Leave a comment below. What questions do you still have? Did we get our assessment right? Who would you like to see us tear down next? And for those of you who found this helpful and were thinking about applying some of these tactics to your own business, if you want a second opinion, we're always happy to jump on the phone for free and do a 15 minute SEO and content marketing consult. Uh, you should see a URL pop up on the video right now, or you can click the link in the description. We look forward to talking to you.